And now you can see I'm on with a football manager DNA. So Tom Bridge Angels save. I'm loving Tom Bridge Angels instead. And I hope you've had a great Christmas. And we're back for the first game in Skybet League 2 against Cambridge United. And it's all coming up next. Okay, before we get into the video, if you like, subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a video from me, we much appreciate it. As I say, truly appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, and I hope you've had a great Christmas. My Christmas dream came true. My Christmas wish, we got the Sky Bet League 2. Two attempts, but we finally got there. Today, we've got Cambridge United in our first ever game in Sky Bet League 2. Pre-season's gone well. A tool draw against Fulham, our affiliate club. That's gone really well. We've got a couple of players in loan from them. Paying no wages. That's what I love about affiliate clubs. Let's get into it. I think that's the first thing. Let's show the transfers. Still some players might be coming in and might be going out. So, Lucas Zegler, a youngster, 18 years of age. One for the future, six foot three. I feel he will play a few games. He's got a two-year deal. He'll be a bit of player this season. But like I say, he's got very good potential on a free. Where was he? Liverpool. Liverpool let him go. We just snapped him up. Hugo Bueno, I love a Bueno. So I did sign him to play left back, but I feel like more central midfield might be his position. He's on 1.2k a week, 21 years of age. He's got a wall shot on there. So yes, on a free, but he was at Wolves. They let him go. Uh, who else? Kieran Gilligan on a free. Central midfielder, very good stats. All round, pretty good. 11s and 12s, it's good. And this Skybet League 2, that's good standard. I think that's all right. Batting Albion, he's been in Skybet League 1. He's played a fair few games as well. Three games there, 16 games that season. So he has got some experience in playing a higher league. He's dropping down. Skybet League 2, maybe that's his standard. And he's better, like I said, than we've already got. The two players we got from Fulham on loan, Erwin Burrell, left midfielder, left winger. We did bring him in last season right at the end. He played like one game. He didn't really get into the team, but brung him back again. Potential Premier League standard. That was the main reason. <laughs> That's the main reason I brought him in. Premier League standard. He's got some potential then. That's why he's in. Lee Turner to play left back from Fulham. All around. I would like a bit more pace and acceleration. I love a bit of pace and acceleration. He's a bit slow. That's my own issue with him. But other than that, all around pretty good. George Broadbent, another central midfielder. Why not? Decent one. 10s and 11s and 12s. All round and everywhere. Technical, mental and physical. All round, about the same standard. Very all rounder. Six foot two, pretty strong as well. Good, good, good strength with him. Uh, on a free, where was he at? Sheffield United. So yeah, he's been knocking around the higher leagues. Not really played too many games. He has played for Rochdale Sky Bet League Two. Didn't do very well there, but that was a few seasons ago. He's a bit older now. Hopefully, a bit wiser, a bit better. Fetus, Fetus, Festus Arthur. Oh my goodness me! Look at this guy. I'm so sorry. He looks really mean because I got his name wrong. He looks so angry. Uh, yeah, 1.5k. I looked at him and thought he deserves the money. He looks absolutely phenomenal. Really good. Better than what we've already got here. And he looks really mean. So I, he just wanted it and I just couldn't negotiate. It scared me. Right, where was he playing? Charlton. They let him go. Is it Charlton? Yeah. Yeah, seems good. Pedigree. He's done all right. He has played in Vanderbilt National League with Stockport County. He has played in Sky Bet League 2 before. A good rating as well. 7.02. 41 games. I'll take that if he's done this season. Maybe a few goals. Tom Hughes gone out. Hartlepool. Too many central midfielders. So he had to go. But he's still in Sky Bet League 2. He's still gone up in the world. So we will see him again. Also, we're playing Cambridge today. And Ethan Burnett. He's gone to Cambridge on a free. This one was a tricky one because I really liked him. I thought maybe for the future it'd be good. A few more seasons maybe. But I need it now. I need the players, the good players now. Like I say, he's gone to Scott League 2 and we're playing his team today. Check, see if he's going to play. Uh, what else is there to tell you about? Finances. 6k in the balance. We're overspending on a wage budget. It's only 17k. Anything else to say? Only the season preview. Season preview, they don't like us. They don't think we're going to do very well this season. I'm hopefully we can just, uh, yeah, do better than what they're saying. 23rd, relegation. No. Relegation contenders, no. Uh, also, Wrexham come up with us, and they're sixth favourite to go up, 11 to 1, and we're 150 to 1. And also, I've looked at this already, but I'm going to show you guys, because I haven't showed it on camera. Their wages of players, I know they're financially backed, I know they've got loads of money, 
4,600, 4,200, 3,400, a couple of thousand there, a couple of thousand, a couple of thousand. Then you look at our team, our wages, 1,500, 1, 1,200, 1,100, 1,000. And then it just gets less and less and less all the way down to a couple of players on £20 a week. YTS players. Right, dynamics are really good. Well, they're not high. They're good, good, good. But there's no one's unhappy. No issues. Everyone seems to be doing all right. Squad depth. I feel I need another striker. Uh, I've, yeah, Jaden Williams. Well, obviously, we sold him for 55k with 50% to sell on. And then we loaned him back. But he's gone. Captain Sturridge and Ellis Harrison. Oh, the only, Ellis Harrison's dropping off a bit. I am a bit worried, but he's done so well last season. 13 goals and 14 appearances, 7.49. Uh, so he's him and uh, Captain Sturridge will be playing today. I feel like I need another decent striker and a right back. Falassi, you've not seen him on the transfer news. He he went last season right at the end. Yeah, he was on a non-contract. Let me quickly go back and show you. He was only backup anyway. He wasn't really first choice, but every time he come in and played, he'd actually done all right. Where is he? Falassi. Yeah, he still signed a non-contract, is he? Yeah, he still signed on contract with uh, Bromley. Uh, yeah, done all right whenever he played, but I didn't. It was a non-contract. They come in, approach to sign him, and I didn't. I should have offered him an actual permanent contract, a part-time contract. But no, he's gone, so I do need another right back. But we have got Brian Ware to play right back. Right, today, we've got Cambridge. Let's get into this. Cambridge United, we've got to look out for Ethan Burnett, see if he's going to be playing. Also, what team are we putting out? We're going to go for Hilson, Turner, Wakeley, Arthur, Crow, Burrell, Bueno, Gilligan, Glover, Captain Sturridge, and Ellis Harrison up front. Anyone missing out? Not really. I feel like I need to sell another defender. I feel like I've got too many central defenders because even Brunt can play there. So I feel like Tom Leak would be the obvious choice to sell. Still pretty good. I have to see. I have to see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Give her half a number. Best player at the club. Best player at the club. Highest paid player at the club. 1.5k. Oh, a week. £1,500 a week. Oh, can you imagine getting that a week? That would be phenomenal. I will take that. Go out there and impress me. Go on. Away from home. Cambridge United. First time in the big, big time. In the actual league. In the actual league. And I did I check out to see. I'll be able to tell. After this highlight. Corner from us. Can we score? Can we score a corner goal? No, we can't score a corner goal. Don't be stupid, Tony. It's been an update. You're never going to score a corner goal again. Burrell. Bueno. Turner now. Down the left. Look for a good cross, mate. We'll back to Bueno. Cross comes over. Free. Ellis Harrison. His stats are dropping off. But the guy is not dropping off himself. He's still... Still a phenomenal striker. Still a phenomenal striker. Let's pause it there. Let's get up the Cambridge formation. He doesn't seem to be playing. I bet he's on their bench. I'm not fine. Ethan Burnett must be on the bench. We'll check out, see if he comes on at the end. But yeah, not a bad start at all. It's, it's an excellent start. We're one nil up. Turner. We're playing well as well. Burrell. Got a yellow card over already. Turner, cross comes over, Ellis Harrison misses it, but Glover's there. Half volley, bounces off the floor, comes up, and, turn, and Glover there is there with the volley, with a great finish. Oh my goodness me. Burrell, the premiership potential guy, playing well. Pass about to Turner, Turner with a great cross. And did he get lucky? I think he's aiming for Ellis Harrison, but went over the him and the defenders. Come to Glover, and great finish. A great finish. Let's praise him. We're 2 0 up. 15 minutes on the clock. Dream start. Skybet League 2. We're top of the table as well. <laughs> uh, penalty. Unless he's just fallen over for no apparent reason. 18 minutes on the clock. 3 0. 3 0. Ellis Harrison. Odds on. Favourite. Yes. Come on. 3 0 up. Automatic promotion. Skybet League 2 is the easiest league to get out of. I'm saying it now. It is the easiest league to get out because four teams go up. But, a big but as well. We're newly promoted. 
We've got some new players and they all need to mix in, all need to gel. So it might take us a season, really, a season. And to bring in some more players. I feel we still need better players. You can see the, like, the players that Wrexham have got. They all need, we still need two or three extra special players to really finish this team off. But um, so far, so good. I don't want to speak too soon. We're 3-0 up. Yeah, so this season, if we can get to the playoffs, uh, that's, that'd be really good. Next season, second season, I really want to get promoted. I don't like spending too many seasons in the league. We can do it this season. It'd be a dream. But next season, like I say, I think I will feel with two or three, but I honestly feel with two or three players away from getting automatic promotion anyway. Considering I don't know that these teams, not really played against them yet, so I don't know really what standard they're at. If they're going to be at the standard of Wrexham, you've got Sunderland, odds on favourite to win the league. They've got a good team, good wage budget. Our wage budget's ridiculous, £17,000. But we're doing all right with it. We're spending it wisely so far. Burrell on the ball. Cuts and size, dancing around. Uh, was it a shot? Okay, we'll take it. It was a shot. Let's have a look. We've got a fair few yellow cars. I just don't... Oh, Burrell's aggressive. He, he needs to come off. He's going to get sent off. He's just going to have that mindset. I'm leaving Captain Sturridge on. I'm leaving Captain Sturridge on. I feel like Wake needs to come off as well. On a yellow and a 6.3. Let's get him off. Brian Ware, you're on. Festive Arthur. 6.7 on his debut. Two players doing all right on the debut. Bueno, Turner. Turner especially doing very well. Ellis Harrison, though. Stats are dropping off, but he's doing all right. He's doing really well. Still want another striker, though. And a right back. To try and fight with Crow, because Crow is an excellent right back. Didn't Crow? Phenomenal. Wingers. We've got a fair few of them now. If there is someone out there, they've got to be phenomenal to... Take their spot because even Anderson can't get into the team. Well done. A really good win. A really good start. Maybe it's too easy. Maybe it was too easy. It was a very close game if you go by the stats wise, but maybe 3 0. It's, it's getting my hopes up a bit too much that automatic promotion, <laughs> automatic present promotion already. I've, yeah, I've offered some loans out, uh, season loans out, striker wise. Because I feel like we need another striker. It was okay. Burnham City. We will see. We'll see. I'm still looking around. Still looking around. Still feel like I need a couple more players to come in. It's hard though when you haven't got any wages to spend. But we will see. Praise Turner because that was a really good game. Good crossing from left back. And good defensive work as well. Thank you so much for watching. What I do love about this league... We're in some new competition. The Carabao Cup. First round of the Carabao Cup. Papa John's Trophy. First time in that. And we don't even have to qualify for the FA Cup first round. We're already through to the first round. So that's good as well. So, new competitions. That Builder Bear or Builder Base Trophy. I don't want to be in that silly trophy. Mickey Mouse Club Trophy. We're in, we're in the big boy trophies now. We're in the big boy competitions. Right. When are we kind of coming back? We're going to come back for Lincoln City, Fleetwood Town, round about this. I'm going to play a fair few games off camera. You're going to miss this Plymouth Argyle on the first round of the Carabao Cup. Should have played two games today. Just haven't got the time. Just haven't got the time to play two games. Should have played two games. Just making excuses now. Like I say, I hope you've had a great Christmas. Come back for the next episode. I hope you can, Let's have all have a good New Year as well. I hope you're all healthy and all COVID free and you can spend it with your family and loved ones. And let's do this next year. Next year. Let's have a good year. And especially, can I get promoted straight away? First attempt to Skybet League 1? That is another good question. Right, thank you so much for watching, guys. That's it. I'm out.